All right, welcome to the channel, everybody. My name's Joshua. Um, obviously, we have a little bit of different layout here, and uh, I wanted to kind of get into the fact that with um, this new intention, we're bringing some audio here. This is customary for the channel these days. So the 639 hertz um, solfeggio frequency is coming over to us from uh, Zen Life Relax. And we do have the new practice of basically just trying to make sure that we're paying what we've earned or what we've learned so much through the course of this last year forward um, in these series leading up to my birthday and then through the Christmas, maybe through New Year and ongoing to see you know how valuable these kinds of things can be. I've been using Streamlabs and it crashed on me over the last day or so as when I opened it this morning everything and the layout was all gone but so be it. So we have a new rebuilt platform. It's probably a good thing since this way I don't feel like I'm re rehashing what we were trying to do a year ago, which was completely different than this, of course. So as we jump in, I'm just gonna bring up kind of where we're what we're looking at here. It's the 639 hertz harmonized relationships. It's in the heart chakra. But just allow me to um, invite you to this new space that we're creating in the vein of meditation and just mindfulness overall. And that not just in the pursuit of becoming more meditative and more mindful over the course of time, and to educate you perhaps into the way that I've come into understanding of meditation and how it correlates to my understanding of God and myself and what that relationship is intended to be for me I, I just tell you I'm not here to preach or do anything other than share my practice so um, here on the other side of the screen let me just read what we have that this is Knox Studios it's a channel I created a while ago it's my logo but I am delighted that you have found this channel. Here we will be sharing a number of different concepts, practices, and invite you to join as we move forward this year in pursuit of a bit of progress, daily, weekly, monthly, and perhaps annually. If you find anything here valuable and would like more information, please leave a comment below. Never again hate anything is what NOC stands for. But of course, thank you for your continued support. We aim to stay tuned, which is the new moniker for the channel. And that we're, we're listening to frequency. And we're, whether we're in this frequency right now or we're listening to the world, the music, the pundits, the dialogue, the content of the world, wherever that is, there's a frequency to it. In this space, we just simply make a choice on what frequency we need for betterment, for some peace. Do we need to be grounded? Is there something going on with our hearts and in our relationships? Is there something that we need to express through our voice? You know, all these things matter and it simply is that dependent on which frequency you're in line with and succumb to, I'll say, that can really have an effect on your effectiveness in you doing that. So I brought up an article. It's actually um, Inner Balance. So let me... Um, I'm gonna jump over to a main screen share and bring up this. It's a article by mindful.org. And it's just basically an outline by Susan Bauer about 
creating an inner balance in the face of change. This change, the ebb and flow of life, the yin and the yang, the constant, the only constant, that change will occur. So we'll start here. Life is rarely, if ever, constant, and it can be difficult to remain balanced in the midst of change. This is a guided meditation to ground us in the present moment and cultivate equanimity. As we scroll down, with equanimity, we can feel the possibility of balance in our hearts and in the midst of life's ups and downs. It's a quality that's both receptive and stable. In short, it's the opposite of the reactive mind. With equanimity, there's a feeling of ease and allowing as we ride the waves of change and different experiences. That allows us to, what? Be present to the suffering and present to joy. It combines an understanding mind together with a compassionate heart. So the mind space and the heart space in unison. It doesn't mean we are indifferent here, or that we don't care, meaning the same thing essentially, apathetic, or even that we care less. It means we allow life to unfold without any attachments to an outcome or taking things personally. And finally, equanimity is opening to easing into each moment with care and gentleness. So here's the outline. First, we settle into a comfortable posture, closing our eyes, simply just lowering our gaze, bring awareness toward the body. Notice your breath move through your body. Feeling the chest or the belly expand with your breath. Then we take a moment to set an intention for this practice. Perhaps it's just to feel a sense of inner balance or ease, but take in the following phrases or the meanings of these phrases and quietly repeat them to yourself. Things are just as they are. I'm safe in this moment. My happiness and suffering depend on my thoughts and actions, not simply upon my wishes. May I feel joy and ease. And our third step, let's notice that whatever is present for us Just rest there for a moment in a feeling of okayness to be just as it is. Finally, after resting in this for a time, we bring our mind to someone who we care about and who may be going through a hard time. You're invited also here to extend these phrases of the meaning to the person. I care for you, yet I cannot keep you from suffering. I love you, yet cannot control your happiness. Your happiness and suffering depend on your thoughts and actions, not my wishes for you. May you feel joy and ease. After sending this to them, take note of how we feel. In that, we can notice the raw feelings of whatever is present for us. We can sit with it, just letting it be for right now. Finally, once again, we do bring our awareness to the body and the breath and feel the ease of simply being and breathing. 
so that I bring this back over to our 639 hertz. I invite you just to become aware of what balance is. Outside of the framework of just meditation and just for the purpose of finding balance, there's no wrong way or right way, but it's simply to bring that intention to the forefront and recognize my powerlessness within it. Every single day, every single moment, my waking conscious mind, there's chaos and a desire to have something I don't have, to change something I can't change. And the fallback always has to be in the acceptance and the peace and the serenity of this present moment and understanding that no matter how obsessed or overbearing I am in the pursuit of making the world as I see it needing to be. That it does not need to be that way. The space that is, is. The way something is, is the way something is. The beautiful part of this practice simply allows us to acknowledge that, stay tuned to that, surrender to that, and just simply breathe and be. There's a whole delightful plethora and pursuits and agendas to bring to the forefront, as you know, I, I aim to do in different practices and ways of becoming mindful, but really this is where the core is. To align ourselves with what is and not to alter the universe. So we can work from the inside out. In order to bring about the best representation of ourselves to our fellows, to the world, to ourselves, really. There's a whole number of different things that I would love to share with you. Instead, let's take a moment to meditate here and let it be yours for the day. Just let it be yours as we sit here in the center of everything in our heart just to let anything in your mind just fall out, just be voided. If you have difficulty with those thoughts, concentrate on the breath. So begin by just getting comfortable. Meditate as you would wish today. And thank you for coming back to the channel, for finding us. Enjoy your meditation.
you very much for spending some time here. I apologize for any disturbances with the desktop audio. Thank you for spending the time with yourself. Before waking, please take the time to thank yourself for spending some time with yourself today. This new layout, I hope that we might be able to bring some greater intentions and broader concepts into this space continually. However, we have a few more days until the official launch of whatever this becomes is. I hope that you felt something in your heart and able to cultivate something of a new practice. And I invite you, of course, to leave a comment, like or, con like or subscribe if you find any value here. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for your continued support. Stay tuned.